Kelly. A man shot outside his central Arkansas home. Now police are searching for whoever pulled the trigger. As Fox 16's Susan L. Corey explains, police believe this wasn't a random shooting. Decorating for Halloween is something Melissa Rickard looks forward to every year. There we go. As she puts the finishing touches on her Benton yard. That was scary. She can't stop thinking about what happened just across the street. But you heard just a series of them, and it was unmistakable. I texted my husband. I said, I think I hear gunshots going off. Around 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon, police say a man was shot and injured outside his home in the 1200 block of Edgel Drive. Just praying that he's okay. Investigators kept the home taped off for hours hoping to figure out who pulled the trigger, but say they still don't have a suspect. Come here, Nike. Yeah, I was kind of concerned for my dogs more than anything. Without more answers about what happened, neighbors are on edge. I wouldn't have expected it in this neighborhood. Even though police believe this violence was targeted, Rickard knows there's no place for it on her block. There's little kids down the other end of the street. You know, they're always out playing in the street. Something could have happened. And, you know, thank God nobody else was hurt. Hoping her decorations will be the only ones lining the street. And that man was taken to the hospital where he is expected to be okay. Now, since this shooting happened midday near a lot of homes, Benton police are hoping someone may have seen or heard something that could help their investigation. North Little Rock police investigating a shooting that injured a 16-year-old. It happened on North G Street around 11 Sunday morning. We're told someone shot five times from a car and injured a teen. Officers say the injuries are not life-threatening and that the 16-year-old is expected to make a full recovery. It's a terrible event. We never want this to happen anywhere in our city or anywhere, actually. But, but the reality is, is that sometimes these things do happen. Fortunately, this individual is, is going to survive. No word yet on a motive for the crime. Police are searching for a dark-colored sedan. Again, if you have any information that could help, give police a call. Deputies in Johnson County say two people were shot at a weekend party. It happened early Sunday morning at a place called Meeting on 64. Investigators have not yet released the names or conditions of the victims. Both the Johnson County Sheriff's Office and state police are working to pull together information on the suspect. If you know anything about this shooting, call police. A local man is wanted for several package thefts in Saline County. Bryant police believe 38-year-old Harvey Brady is responsible for stealing multiple packages over the last several days. Police tell us this is a picture of Brady in a silver Ford F-150 sitting outside a house just moments after a UPS delivery truck left a package there. And we have another picture they believe is him walking up to the front door of the home where police say he stole a package. Now, if you've seen this man or you know where he is, call Bryant Police. Last week, I told you about someone breaking into the Humane Society of the Delta. The director says crooks hit again. Fox 16's Rochelle Turner explains the director believes the criminals are letting the dogs out of their cages to spark fights. The Phillips County Sheriff's Office suspects that the thieves were able to get inside the Humane Society by opening up a gate and forcing dogs to fight each other. I, I couldn't hardly even find a word last night when I got the phone call. The Humane Society of the Delta targeted for the second time in a week. They still knew our weak, our weak spot. Director Beth Lord says workers stopped by the shelter Saturday night to check on sick puppies. They discovered five dogs running around fighting each other. None of them had to go to the hospital. Um, they had some, uh, not minor injuries, but had injuries that were uh, not too severe. We were able to give them antibiotics and, and some pain medicine. Last week, they raised over $20,000. She says the money is going towards medical bills for a dog named Rubio, who was injured in the first attack, and upgrades at the shelter. It is heartwarming and it takes sort of some of the edge of the pain off that people all over the world have donated to that. Now, they're back where they started. I'm mad. Uh, we've been working diligently for the last seven to ten days trying to get um, new security cameras, new fencing arranged. Lord hopes the people who broke in will think twice 
before doing it again. Because uh, we've taken some other measures that will not be very friendly to anybody who tries to break in next time. There is a cash reward for any information involving the incidents here at the shelter. For more information, visit our website. It's fox16.com. Reporting in West Helena, I'm Rochelle Turner, Fox 16 News. An Arkansas man shocked last month in Oklahoma while trying to save another person has been released from the hospital. Last September, Brandon Gann was shocked after he jumped into a canal in Oklahoma. Gann was trying to rescue another man who had already fallen into it. Now that person lost his life. Gann had been at the OU Medical Center since the end of September. An Arkansas-based company is lending a helping hand to a Florida community damaged from Hurricane Michael. Hank's Fine Furniture has a store in Panama City that was greatly affected by the storm. They are accepting donations to assist their employees and neighbors who lost not only their homes, but also their jobs. Non-perishable food, hygiene items, pet supplies, clothing, and much more are now being accepted. No cutoff date has been set for the donations.